Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to play Split Fiction Co-op Split Screen with one keyboard and two players So let's get started So first things first, go to Google and download keyboard Splitter Xbox GitHub Go to the first link I will put the link in the description Now go to release 2.3.0.0 And download this zip file Download it wherever you want Alright, now after downloading it Right click on the zip file and extract files press on ok you can delete the zip file we don't need it anymore go into keyboard splitter and double click on keyboard splitter.exe press on yes now here it will ask you to download the specific driver and you must reboot your pc now click on yes after that install the driver but you don't need to trust anything else so just install it now it says installation finished please start the application again press on ok double click now, now here it is all right now we only need two players so go to slots count and put it two and that way we'll have only two players now for the first player and the second player just choose the keyboard one for both of them and mouse one or two for both of them click on this if you want to detect your mouse so it is mouse 2 not mouse 1 for me and now here for the preset you can use the default one but i prefer to use a new one so just edit the default i will name it player 1 and press on this icon to save and reset all the buttons and same thing for player 2 all right now for key bindings i suggest you to go to the game options and input and you can see here all of the game's inputs i suggest you to screenshot it or just open the software while looking at the keybinds and start key binding all right i already did a screenshot now i will do the key bindings for example if i want to key bind the jump button which is a for the xbox layout which is here you can just press here and search for the space key or you can just press on these two dots and press on space and it will show here that you keep binding the space key all right now for the wasd you go to the axis the x minimum is for the left so put it as a key and the x max is the right so put it as d key and y minimum is down so put it as s key and y maximum is the up so put it as w key and same here for player 2 the x minimum is for the left arrow key same thing as here right arrow key down arrow key and up arrow key all right now i will key bind them now i will do the key bindings for player one okay so i did the wasd now for the jump key i put it as space for the cancel key as default it is q which is for the b button and for the dash it is left shift which is for the x button and interact key for the y button for the primary and secondary abilities they are the rt and lt buttons which are these two so i will put it as z and x for grapple it is the rb button sprint which is the left thumb button the find other player the arrow up key which is the d-pad up i will put it as tab key if you ask me why you didn't use the mouse because the mouse will glitch when viewing up down and left and right so it's better to leave it on the keyboard and center view the right thumb g now for move upward downward when swimming these are by default the a and b buttons so we don't need them now for looking up down left right instead of the mouse i prefer to use the ikjl keys and to set them you need to go to axis rx and ry the axis rx minimum it is looking around to the left side so i will put the j key and the max is looking around to the right side l key and ry minimum is looking around down but i will invert it because it will look as inverted in the game so for ry minimum just put the i key and ry maximum put the k key all right that's it for player one now for player two the same thing you can choose your own keys these are for the arrows for moving and these are for looking around i will use four eight six and two in the numpad area this is for left this is for right and this is for looking up this is for looking down okay i will start from the beginning for the jump key which is a i prefer to use the numpad zero for cancelling i will choose the numpad seven for dashing you can choose the right shift key on your keyboard or you can choose any other key i prefer to choose numpad number one for interacting i will choose the right enter on your keyboard the most right enter on your numpad area and for the abilities i will choose the division and the asterisk keys 
For the graphic key, I will choose numpad 3. For the sprint key, I will choose the dot key. And for finding other player, I will choose the numpad 9 key. For center view, I will choose the numpad 5 key. And for move upward, downward, while swimming, they are the same. All right, that's it for setting up for the two players. Now, before that, you must test it. Now press on start. All right, now press on controllers, text input controllers. Now here, when trying to press, you will see the buttons are being pressed. This is for testing it. Also go to controllers and open Windows controllers. You can see you have now connected two virtual Xbox controllers, but of course we are using one single keyboard and here you can test your buttons. All right, if you are satisfied with that, if everything works fine, just close them and stop it. And before that, I recommend you to not block the keyboards and do not block the mice because when you are going to play and you want to, for example, quit the game or pause the game, if you block your keyboard or mouse, you won't be able to use it when starting it. So I recommend you to not block your keyboard. And one last thing for the pause button it is here. I will put it as escape key, cancel. And for player two, I will put it as the subtraction key, which is the minus. All right, before that, enable to save it. Just press the escape key and it will ask you to save it. Just press yes. Now open the app again and change the slots counts to two and remove the blocked keyboard and choose mouse two, mouse two. And here choose the same keyboard, keyboard one. And you can see your preset over here, player one and preset for the player 2. Now launch the game, go to play local. Now from the application start it, put it away. And now if you try to press the space key, it will read as the first controller. And if you try to press the zero numpad, which is the jump key, which is A. For the player 2, it will read it as also an Xbox controller. Now just press space again, and you can play normally and choose the sides. All right, now if you try to play both of you, they are working and enjoy okay i did a mistake here just go to options go to camera okay for mayo and zoe if you don't have the invert vertical and horizontal options if they are off so go back to the program stop it and for the ry minimum and maximum axis just switch them so instead of i i will make it k and instead of k i will make it i the same thing for player two instead of number eight i will make it number two and number eight now start it go back to the game and test it and here you go all right guys don't forget to like and subscribe if you got benefit from the video and check out my other tutorial videos and in the time being peace out in the real world what happened i wanted to leave but they wouldn't let me are you sure this isn't just some sort of misunderstanding look i was fighting them when i fell into your simulation wait that was a fight